Today, we have 32 of the NFL's best wide receivers competing to be king of the hill. Starting with our current king, the lowest rated number one wide receiver in Madden, Darius Slate. And to find out his challenger, we'll be drawing a name out of this magic hat, which is gonna end up being Kendrick Bourne, the number one receiver for the Patriots. And we'll be spinning this wheel to see which kind of competition they'll be taking on and competing against each other in. And the first one we're gonna be starting with is a speed competition of the 40 yard dash. Darius Slayton is 94 speed with 92 acceleration and Kendrick Bourne is 88 speed with 92 acceleration. So my official prediction for this one will of course be Darius Slayton to win. Darius Slayton defends his hill, staying on and taking out Kendrick Bourne. Every time we have a wide receiver that defends his hill, we'll spin the wheel of ratings here to see which set of ratings or attributes they'll get to upgrade. The default is plus three, but there are some that are rated just a little bit differently or weighted just a little bit differently. As we're going to be adding plus three to Darius Slayton's spin move for the upcoming challenge. And my official prediction was correct, which means I won't be giving away a $10 gift card here. However, if my official prediction is incorrect, I'll be giving away a $10 gift card for each one that I get right. Now we'll be drawing one of our 30 names remaining, our 30 wide receivers, to see who will be the next challenger. It's the Dallas Cowboys number one CD Lamb. Now we've got wide receiver contests, speed contests, popularity contests, and so much more. These wide receivers will be put through the ringer, but our next competition is actually a quarterback one going to be who has the longest throw. Now, CeeDee Lamb's throw power is 37, and Darius Slayton's is 24, so my official prediction will be CeeDee Lamb. Up first will be the challenger, CeeDee Lamb. We only have one attempt to do this. We're just going to get outside the pocket here, right by the goal line, and launch the ball as far as he can, and that ball landed at, I think, about the 42-yard line. So the distance to beat is 42 yards for our reigning king, Darius Slayton. Darius Slayton snaps the ball. He actually throws with his left hand. I was not expecting that and from the goal line he's just gonna throw the ball up and oh my gosh that was a lot closer than i thought it would have been but i think cd lamb might have just outdone him by only one and a half yards cd lamb is our new king of the hill my prediction was right my wallet stays clean for yet another something's telling me they're not gonna be all so obvious from the 29 challengers that we have remaining he'll be taking on deandre hopkins of the titans and if you're wondering why he has a bears logo on his head that's a madden thing that's not a me thing i have no idea why it glitches like that but it does that for a lot of players for some reason and the challenge they will be participating in against each other is going to be another longest challenge this time a kicking challenge the longest kickoff this one should be interesting cd lamb actually has a kick power of 48 that's pretty good against our titan challenger of d hop which only has a kick power rating of 20 i gotta go with cd lamb to stay on the hill after this one. from the 35 yard line i'm gonna try to focus up the best i possibly can here i'm on rookie difficulty to try to give myself the best opportunity for an accurate kick but you can only do so much cd lamb kicks it off and that thing goes out of bounds right away. From the Cowboys 35 yard line to the opponents about 43 and a half yard line. That's a total of 21 and a half yards for CD Lamb. Now it's DeAndre Hopkins turn. And again, I'm just focusing as much as I possibly can on this tiny little kick meter to get about the same accuracy as I did with CD. And his goes straight. Oh, my prediction's gonna be wrong on this one. DeAndre Hopkins went all the way to the opponent's 32 yard line for a total of 33 yards to CD Lamb's 21 and a half, meaning he's taking over the hill. My guess was wrong. Here's the first $10 gift card. We're going to start it off with Xbox. And our next challenger to take on DeAndre Hopkins will be Christian Kirk of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the challenge in which these competitors will be competing against each other in is our first head-to-head -head sim. This one is going to be a running back challenge. Head-to-head -head sim, most rushing yards as a running back. They will be using the same playbook. Kind of a wild guess here, but I actually expect Christian Kirk to take this one. That is my official prediction. And the crazy thing is, is Christian Kirk's actually a 93 overall as a halfback in this game. <laughs> D-Hop is a 93 overall running back. Almost as good as Derrick Henry, according to Madden. That's, that's logic. We're going to be giving them both the San Francisco 49ers playbook. It's a neutral playbook, but it's also a run-heavy playbook. Now, we'll be simming this entire game, of course. The score doesn't matter. Matter. All that matters is the amount of rushing guards that these guys get at the halfback position, and whoever has more will be staying on the hill. DeAndre Hopkins had 132 rushing yards. Christian Kirk did well. They just didn't run the ball as much despite having the same playbook 
at only 51 yards. DeAndre Hopkins takes over the hill. I got this one incorrect. And here's the $10 PlayStation gift card. But put your prediction of who you think's gonna win King of the Hill. And no cheating. I wanna see your comments down below. Who do you think's gonna win? Of course, D-Hop defended his hill. So we're gonna spin the wheel of stats to see which statistical upgrade he'll be getting for our next challenge. And the challenge is to come. Looks like it's gonna be plus three to his catch in traffic rating. And our next competitor from the 27 remaining is gonna be Romeo Dobbs from the Green Bay Packers. And he's gonna be competing against our current hill champion of DeAndre Hopkins in a sudden death touchdown challenge from the five yard line. In order for the attempt to actually count, the CPU quarterback must target our wide receiver. My official prediction for this one is for D-Hop to stay on the hill. I think he's gonna go on a run here. Romeo Dobbs on the almost outside. He's gonna target him and he's gonna catch. No, he dropped it. First attempt failure for Romeo Dobbs. Now this is sudden death. So if DeAndre Hopkins catches this on his first attempt towards him, he will win the competition. The first one was not an attempt, so it doesn't count. DeAndre Hopkins lined up to his left, I believe. Those red gloves are kind of a dead giveaway. Will he have him here? He kind of does in the back of the end zone. He's going to target him. And he's going to drop it. On to round two. We'll be starting with DeAndre Hopkins as going first. If he completes it, Romeo Dobbs will have a chance to come back. If he doesn't complete it and Romeo Job Dobbs gets it, then we'll have a winner in this competition. He's going to target him again. And it's incomplete. With a completed touchdown here, Romeo Dobbs can win this competition on the outside. Perfect pass. He holds on. Romeo Dobbs eliminates DeAndre Hopkins. Of course, my prediction was incorrect. And here's a $10 Xbox gift card. Man, I'm going to be absolutely so poor by the end of this. Our next challenger taking on Romeo Dobbs for King of the Hill is going to be Broncos number one wide receiver, Cortland Sutton. Now we will have repeat challenges. I'm not removing them from the wheel after we do it. This one is going to be a kickoff return challenge. Which one though? Best kickoff return, the total yards of five attempts. I hate to go against the Broncos since I live in Denver, but I've got to go with Romeo Dobbs as the better kick returner here. That's my official prediction. Now I don't want my actual ability to come into play here. So the CPU will be doing all five for each team. I'm going to try to my best to kick it to the actual goal line. Corlin Sutton receives it. And on his first return, he's going to go down at, I think, the 13-yard line. And on Sutton's next four, he ended at the 23, the 22, the 22, and the 19 for a total of 99 return yards. In order for Romeo Dobbs to win and stay on the hill, he needs 100 or more yards. First attempt here for Romeo Dobbs. Let's see how he starts off. I think it's going to be a lot better than Corton Sutton's 13-yard start. That looks like he got to the 25. Not a bad first attempt. But this streak continued as Dobbs returned for 27 yards, 21 yards, 22 yards, and 22 yards for a total of 117 yards. Absolutely smoking his competition, eliminating Cortland Sutton from the hill. My prediction was correct. I'm saved $10. And since Dobbs stayed on the hill, he's going to get to upgrade his awareness, which is going to help his overall when controlled by the CPU a ton. That's actually pretty big. So plus three to awareness. Dobbs' next competition from the match. Magic Hat will be Detroit Lions' little NFC North matchup. Amon Ra St. Brown, the Sun God. And the wheel has decided that they will be competing in a competition of a QB competition for this one. It's going to be a completion challenge, best of five. Each quarterback will have to throw five different routes, the same routes for each quarterback. And whoever completes the most out of five attempts will win. I'm sorry, Dobbs, I got to go against you. My official prediction is the Sun God Amon Ra St. Brown to take this one home. The five routes that they'll be throwing are the slant route, the flat route, the drag route, the curl route, and the fade route. Starting off with the slant, Amon Ross St. Brown, the challenger up first, completes his first one on a diving catch from Josh Reynolds. Next one is the flat route here. He's just going to throw this over there. Secure catch. That one's completed despite the poor accuracy. Next one is the drag route to Sam Laporta here over the middle. He's going to throw this one. Caught it. Perfect accuracy. Three for three. Now we have the curl route to Sam Laporta. He's going to have to throw this one on target. And Laporta catches it despite poor accuracy. And the last one is the hardest one. The fade route. I'll be throwing this to Josh Reynolds in the corner there. And it might be too far. No. Josh Reynolds does not come down with it. The throw was out of bounds. He went four for five. Next up is Romeo Dobbs. He needs four to stay alive, five to win, and three or less will send him home. Starting with the slant route to Christian Watson over the middle. He's going to throw this one almost. That was perfect accuracy. Great throw. Now we've got the flant route to Jaden Reed on the right side. He's going to throw this. Secure catch. Caught it. Touchdown despite the poor accuracy. Two for two. And now we've got the drag route to Luke Musgrave. He's going to throw this one. Caught it easy. Three for three. Now we'll have the curl route to Luke Musgrave over the middle. He's going to fire this one in. And Musgrave catches it. He completes this. He takes it home as we have the fade route to Christian Watson. 
Gonna lob it up in the corner. Watson catches it and Dobbs stays on the hill. Maybe that awareness rating helped in this one. I don't know, but he remains the current king, taking down the sun god. And of course I got my prediction wrong. So here's another $10. I'm gonna be so broke. This one's for PlayStation. And spinning the wheel of stats to see what his stat upgrade will be. In addition to the awareness upgrade that he's already gotten, he can really start to stack it up here. This one's gonna be a pretty key one for receivers. It looks like medium route running. He'll get plus three to that stat. And the next challenger from Dobbs from the hat of destiny is Zay Flowers of the Baltimore Ravens. How about a wide receiver competition? Dobbs did just get updated on that one. This one looks like we're close to the popularity contest, but it's a head-to-head -head sim. Most rushing yards as a running back again. I gotta say, Zay Flowers takes him down in this. If only Dobbs would have gotten like a speed or acceleration, I might have had to take him. They both will be using the Baltimore Ravens playbook, but of course the Packers will be the home team. We do have other head-to-head -head sim challenges that can be picked, not just rushing yards. So the fact that we got that twice is kind of funny. I'm sure we'll see the rest of them in the rest of this video to come. Now we know the score doesn't matter, but the Ravens are beating the Packers 28 to 14 in the third quarter. We head into the fourth. Packers are still losing. They seem to be struggling. I hope the Ravens are racking up those rushing yards. 31 to 14 is your final score. And our winner for most rushing yards as a running back is Zay Flowers at 19 attempts, 101 yards, averaging 5.3 a carry. Romeo Dobbs on 15 attempts at 56 yards, 3.7 a carry. I got my prediction right. Let's go. And our next challenger for Zay Flowers out of the hat will be Drake London of the Atlanta Falcons. With the challenge that they will be partaking in as we have our wheels spin, a popularity contest, our first first one. This one is going to be the most popular Google search results. We'll go to Google. We'll type in player's name here. Hit search and look at the results in the top left here. Whoever has the most results will be considered more popular. Since Drake London has been in the league just a little bit longer than Zay Flowers, my guess here for the winner is Drake London. So as I search Drake London in Google, he has about 86 million results and Zay Flowers results is 4.19 million. It's not even close. Close. Uh, and I got this one right. Bear with me. When I do these recordings, they're usually anywhere from like five to seven hours long and I make mistakes and I'm sorry. I eliminated the wrong guy. I eliminated Drake London. He was supposed to have won this competition. That's totally my fault. But I can't go back and change the entire thing. So we're going to move forward pretending here that Zay Flowers actually won. I don't have anything against Drake London. I will make it up to you, Drake London fans. I promise. If someone gets speed or acceleration here, it's going to make a massive difference for these competitions. But just like our last one, he's going to land on medium route running. He gets plus three to that attribute. And our next challenger for Zay Flowers to try to remain on the hill is Amari Cooper of the Cleveland Browns. Oh, I don't know why he has this freaking Bears logo. It's so stupid. And Amari Cooper will be trying to take down Zay Flowers in a competition of a fullback dive challenge. This one will be interesting. It's a best of five, whoever gets the most advances. Zay Flowers is a lot smaller than Amari Cooper, but the Ravens have a much better offensive line. I think Amari Cooper is just bigger and stronger. He's going to take down Zay Flowers in this competition. Now, this is all CPU. I will not be touching this at all. Let's see how Amari Cooper does on five attempts. His first attempt is good. Touchdown. And then Cooper was able to convert his next four going 100% completion five for five. Zay Flowers turn. This looks like a great defensive look. Remember, it's random play. He should be able to easily score on this one. One for one for Zay. And despite his small size, Zay completed his next three, making him four for four. He only needed one more left to tie. This is to tie it up. He's currently four for four. If he gets in here... Oh, he fumbled the ball on the one on the last attempt to tie it up and push it to sudden death. Zay Flowers goes down and Amari Cooper comes away with the victory. And now I'm on a streak. That was three correct guesses in a row. The next competitor to be taking on Amari Cooper will be Terry McLaurin of the Commanders. And they'll be competing in a competition of not a kick return, but this time a punt return going to be a sudden death. Amari Cooper has the better punt return rating. He's also 92 speed. That's going to be my guess for this one, Amari Cooper. Now, I am punting the ball away here, but I will not be playing any sort of defense. It is up to the CPU to return this. We've got McLaurin back. He's going to re retrieve it at the 32, and let's see how far he can get to about the 49-yard line, his own 49-yard line. This is a total of 17 yards for McLaurin. In order to move on, Amari Cooper needs to get 18 yards or more, but if he gets less than 17, he's eliminated. Now it's Amari Cooper's turn. Let's see what he can do with his punt return. Same punt here. Amari Cooper is back to receive it. 
Number two there. Receiving it from the 34-yard line. He needs 18 yards here. I don't think he got it. He could have gone outside. And he brings it out just past the 50-yard line, which is 17 yards, meaning they tied, so we go to a round two. Now, of course, Cooper starts in round two as the Packers punt it away to him. He waits back to receive the ball from the 32-yard line. A bad catch for him, which gets him off to a slow start, and he only gets it to the 47-yard line. A total of just 16 yards. Punt is up. McClure and second return here. It's all on the line. He gets it at what looks like the 32-yard line. A slow start for him. Oh, no! He goes down at the 45. McLaurin loses. But hey, man, my prediction was right. I'm saving more money. That's four in a row. And since Cooper defended his throne, he's gonna get a stat upgrade here. This one is gonna land on short route running unless it goes to medium. No, stays on short. He'll get plus three to that stat. With 20 names left, Amari Cooper's next challenger is gonna be Mike Evans of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We've still got some powerhouses left in this competition. Names such as A.J. Brown, Justin Jefferson, Devontae Adams, Jamar Chase. There are some crazy receivers left to see. And he'll be taking on our current king in a competition of a head-to-head -head sim. We have not done this one yet. This should be interesting. The most receiving yards in a head-to-head -head sim. Mike Evans is just too good not to go with. That's the guy I'm going to pick. Both teams will be using the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. It's more of a run playbook than the Browns is. And this simulation ended up going through the entire game until we got to O. Oh, we're in overtime in this one. That's actually really exciting. I wonder how long we're going to go. The full overtime, double overtime, as the Browns finally bring it home with a field goal. Let's see who's got the most receiving yards. Well, Trey Palmer, Chris Godwin, and then Mike Evans had 50 on four receptions. Amari Cooper only had two receptions for 30 yards. Down goes Cooper. My prediction was correct. Mike Evans is your new current king of the hill. Mike Evans will be taking on the wide receiver Brandon Ayuk from the 49ers. This one is going to be another head-to-head -head sim, but this is also the one that we have not done yet. It's going to be most receiving touchdowns. They'll be using the same playbook. My official guess is going to be Brandon Ayuk, but that's a shot in the dark. And after the first simulation, our contestants managed to tie with one touchdown each, so we re did the simulation. Brandon Ayuk finished with the touchdown, and it looks like Mike Evans did not. Evans is eliminated. I am on a roll with my correct guesses right now, but it's tough to see Evans go down. Our next challenger taking on Brandon Ayuk will be Michael Pittman Jr. of the Indianapolis Colts. And their competition, according to the Wheel of Wheels of Wheels, is going to be another sudden death death touchdown challenge from the 10 yard line in order for the attempt to count they must target our wide receiver i gotta go with the 49ers wide receiver brandon Ayuk is my guess for this one from the 10 yard line michael Pittman is number 11 you see him lined up on the left there he's gonna get targeted but he does not score now this means that if brandon Ayuk scores his first time being targeted he will win and move on in this competition Ayuk to the left he targets him Ayuk catches it on his first target attempt Ayuk takes down his competition and remains king of the hill that's seven in a row correct guesses Ayuk stays on the hill he defended his position we're gonna spin the wheel of ratings here to see what we're gonna upgrade here looks like it's gonna be his juke move who knows if that'll make a big difference but I guess we'll have to see he gets plus three to that rating and his next challenger from the magical hat is gonna be Justin Jefferson finally we get to see a 99 overall receiver even though we still have Tyreek Hill waiting this one's gonna be our first season sim we'll be doing a fantasy draft to even out the teams but whoever ends up with the most receiving touchdowns will advance. And my pick, of course, is Justin Jefferson. Before we even go into the draft, that's just going to be my pick. Now remember, Ayuk keeps his juke move upgrade, and I'll be turning off things like player progression and player talent progression to keep them as the same ratings the entire season. I'm trying to be as controlled as possible in this experiment. Oh no, Justin Jefferson has Bryce Young throwing to him. This could end so bad. Now, I'm also going to be changing our playbooks to the playbooks of the opponent that we're playing against. So Brandon Ayuk here is on the Dolphins. We're going to be changing to the Miami Dolphins playbooks. For any season sims that we do from here on out, you could just assume that I'm doing the same thing because I will be. I just don't want to bore you guys and show it every single time. We're going to go ahead and sim to the playoffs and see who finishes the season with the most receiving touchdowns. Justin Jefferson only finished the season with four receiving touchdowns. Jawan Jennings had 12, dude. Are you kidding me? And as we go to the Dolphins, Brandon Ayuk had 13. Jay Jettis got smoked, dude. My guess was wrong. Here's another $10 gift card for you guys. And Brandon Ayuk stays on the hill. Let's see which stat will be increasing this time for Ayuk. See what I mean, man. If you make a run on this hill, your stats are going to get really, really, really good. Although this one, we already did his juke move. And now we're going to end up doing his spin move. And the next challengers, we're halfway through this challenge. 16 names remain is going to be Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase versus Brandon Ayuk. This is going to be a fun one. 
end zone fade sudden death my pick is on jamar chase he just seems more like a fade guy to me he's gonna come down with the ball we're running man coverage one-on-one -on -one. jamar chase first same cornerback that brandon Ayuk will be going against if he catches it it counts if he doesn't catch it it's a fail first throw will hit jamar on the outside here and he does not come down with it which means if Ayuk catches it on this first one since it's sudden death he will eliminate jamar chase all right Ayuk's first attempt here we throw this up it's in the corner. Ayuk does not catch it. So we go to round two, starting again with Brandon Ayuk. In the corner again. And up. Wow. Okay. What a catch from Ayuk there. That was fantastic. Now, if Jamar Chase doesn't catch this, he is eliminated. Please, Jamar Chase, please catch this ball. Catch this ball. Catch this ball. He dropped it. Down goes Jamar to Brandon Ayuk. Dude, he's becoming a powerhouse. And here's another $10 gift card for you guys. And Ayuk stays on the hill again. So he's starting to become a powerhouse, man. This time it's going to be another one of these stats. It's going to be his stiff arm rating gets plus three. This one I don't think is going to help him too much. And after Jamar Chase, his next challenger for Brandon Ayuk is Devontae Adams. Will someone be able to take him down? The end zone fade was a fun one. I hope we get that one again sometime soon, or at least in the rest or the back half of this competition. Our next one is going to be a full field 99 yard dash. Ayuk has 91 speed and 93 acceleration. Adams has 90 speed and 91 acceleration. I've got to go with Brandon Ayuk for this one. Now that one felt a little easier, but thankfully I broke my incorrect streak. And Ayuk stays on with yet another wheel spin to increase his attributes. If he starts to get like speed or really good ones like catching traffic, dude, this is really gonna start to help him. He's becoming a powerhouse. He gets plus three to catch in traffic. There are still some powerhouses here that can take him down and we're gonna need someone to do that. Someone just like Stefan Diggs. And Stefan Diggs will be taking on Brandon Ayuk in another season sim. This one is going to be the most receiving touch Touchdowns. Oh man, I want to go with Stefan Diggs, but he's on the Bears and the quarterback is Jameis Winston. Come on, man. But funnily enough, Brandon Ayuk is on the Jets and guess who his quarterback is? None other than Sam Howell. I got to go with the upset here. I just love him too much. Stefan Diggs is my official pick. How do I go against famous Jameis? I just can't do it. I'm feeling good about my pick. Stefan Diggs finished with 14 receiving touchdowns, which is a lot. But the real question is what did Brandon Ayuk finish with? Only 11. I picked right, man. We finally have an upset. Ayuk has been removed from his kingship and onto the hill comes Stefan Diggs. And the challenger for Stefan Diggs with 13 names left is George Pickens of the Steelers. And the challenge they'll be competing against each other is an end zone fade, perhaps? No, it's first to catch a Hail Mary. Whoever completes this in the least amount of attempts will come home the victor. Honestly, not Stefan Diggs. It's gonna be George Pickens. He's taller. He's got great catching. That's my guess. We'll be choosing this shot save clock play, but for the defense, we're just gonna go with any play. And we'll see if we can come down with this ball. On the first one, we throw it up. George Pickens deep. Can George Pickens catch it in double coverage? Almost! It was knocked out. Here he got bumped. Crazy. Holy crap. And on just attempt number three, George Pickens showed why he belongs here. On attempt number three, he gets one-on-one -on -one coverage with the safety, and George Pickens comes down with it. And of course, the same thing for the Bills here. This time, we've got Stephon Diggs over there. We're going to throw a pass to him. If he can catch it on the first one, almost. Oh, my God. He's got a step. He's got a step. Diggs, no, he can't come down with it. He dropped it. This is attempt number three. Can he beat his man? Doesn't look like it. Diggs goes up. He doesn't catch it. Diggs is eliminated, but at least my pick was accurate with George Pickens. Our next challenge, this time against George Pickens, is going to be Cooper Cup of the LA Rams. Also, his eyes are closed. That screenshot was bad timing. They're going to be competing in probably a fun little challenge. Looks like it's going to be another popularity contest. This time, it's going to be Twitter followers. George Pickens has been very controversial on Instagram. I haven't heard much of anything on Twitter, so I think I got to go with Cooper Cup just because he's older, maybe more recognizable. Well, after searching George Pickens, it appears he does not have a Twitter. I mean, I'm looking through all of these. This is definitely not George Pickens. So as long as Cooper Cup has a Twitter, that's going to bring this one home, man. And he does. This is the official Cooper Cup Twitter. I mean, he's got 206,000 followers. It's not even close. Cooper Cup with an absolute killer on this round. The next challenger for Cooper Cup is going to be AJ Brown of the Eagles. This one's going to be another head-to-head -head sim. It's going to be the most receiving touchdowns. Our prediction here is just going to be AJ Brown straight up. That's my guess.
sure about that? We'll be using the Eagle's playbook because I think it's just a little bit more pass heavy. Oh, this one's going to be tough. We do have like most receptions on this. We have most yards for head to head sims, but we keep getting most receiving touchdowns. The Rams are already up 23 to 10. The Eagles are not doing well. Oh my goodness. Looks like Cooper Cup is going to dominate this one unless for some reason he just didn't do anything this entire game. Despite them putting up 39 points to the Eagles 17. Cooper Cup had one touchdown and it looks like AJ Brown had zero. My guess is incorrect. Here's another $10. And AJ Brown is eliminated from competition. Oh man, but he kind of got screwed here. I won't lie. Agility not going to help him too much, I don't think. Our next challenger from the hat, we have 10 names remaining is Adam Thielen of the Panthers. And their competition is going to be looking like a season sim. But the question is, which one is this? It's going to be most receiving touchdowns. We've got Cooper Cup on the Buccaneers with Russell Wilson throwing to him versus Adam Thielen on the Bills with Kenny Pickett throwing to him. I'm taking Cooper Cup on this one. This one feels like a really easy competition. That's when I always get screwed. I'm feeling good. Cooper Cup had 10 touchdowns on the season. And Thielen had 10 as well, which means we're going to a yards tiebreaker. Adam Thielen had 1,100 yards on the season. Let's see how many yards. 1,132 is the number to beat. And Cooper Cup did beat him with 1,300 yards. So my prediction was still correct. I cannot believe they tied at 10 touchdowns. And Cooper Cup stays on the hill, which means he's going to get to increase one of his stats. Catching is a really good one to get. And it looks like that's what this is going to be. So we'll add three to his catching rating. Our next contender, we're under 10. We're in the top 10. Nico Collins from the Texans. And theirs is going to be a competition of, it looks like, kickoff return here for the best one of five attempts. Both contestants will get five attempts. Whatever their best, farthest return is will be matched up against the other contestant. Whoever has the longest kickoff return wins. I guess here's going to be Cooper Cup. He's just a little bit better after the catch than Nico Collins. So I think that'll translate into this kickoff return challenge. Nico Collins takes out his first kick. This one's going to bring it back to the 19-yard line. Collins on his second attempt, takes it out. This one past the 20. He's got so much space. Oh, my goodness. That might do it, man. He just got to the 34-yard line easily. And this was the best return Collins was able to get. So 34 yards is the yard mark to beat. Attempt number one for Cooper Cup back in the end zone. He's got to beat 34 yards here. I feel like he can do it if he gets the blocking. Can Cup bring it out? He's starting on the goal line. He's got good blocking on this one. If he goes outside, he probably gets it, but he only gets to about the 27 there. Attempt number three. Here comes Cooper Cup taking the ball out. Come on, Coop. Spin move. Nothing to the 20-yard line. Ooh. It only takes one, Coop. And this could be the one. His fourth attempt. He just can't get past about the 20-yard line, dude. Find the open hole, I mean, to say, and he's not going to do that. Only brought to the 22-yard line. Cooper Cup goes down. Nico Collins takes him down. My guess was wrong. Here's another gift card. And our next contestant attempting to take down Nico Collins is Keenan Allen of the LA Chargers. This is going to be another season sim. I shuffled the wheel. It's all the same things, but I shuffled it. This is going to be the most rushing yards as a running back. Uh -huh. Apparently, Keenan Allen is a 99 overall running back. That is hilarious. And Nico Collins is only an 89 overall running back. So my guess has got to be Keenan Allen will have more rushing yards at the end of this season. And after simming the entire season, the results were in. Nico Collins had 849 rushing yards. To Keenan Allen's 1,300 rushing yards. I mean, I was correct on the bet. I didn't think I would be this correct. But apparently, if you're playing a franchise, put Keenan Allen as a running back instead of a wide receiver. And the next name from the hat, the next challenger is Tyreek Hill, the wide receiver that I have been waiting to see this whole time. If this is any sort of speed challenge, we know that Tyreek Hill is just going to take the cake. So this is going to be really really interesting. We're actually going to have a quarterback challenge, which means it could be anyone. It's longest throw. Tyreek Hill's throw power rating is 41 and Keenan Allen's is 54. We saw that it was really only a yard and a half difference despite like a 15 to 20 throw power difference earlier. But I have to go with Keenan Allen, man. It's just a smart guess, even though I really want a Tyreek Hill to win. From the one yard line, Tyreek Hill is up first. He's going to go to the goal line here, and he's just going to launch this ball as far as he can. That's going to get to like the 42, I think, or so. And now it's Keenan Allen's turn. He's going to step up to the one-yard line. He's going to get ready to throw this. He's going to launch it. It's got to get just to the 42, and I think that easily beat it even with the catch. That ball was zooming past it. Well, I'm happy I got that guess correct. I'm sad to see Tyreek Hill be a one and done. I wanted to see him win this competition, but on we move to the next one. Keenan Allen gets to spin the wheel here, and he's going to spin it, and his release is going to go up 
three ratings here. Our next name that we're going to draw with only six left is Chris Olave from the Saints. Their challenge is going to be another most popular. This is also Twitter followers. Oh, it's so hard. Instagram's easier. Google's easier. I don't know Twitter, man. I'm just going to go with Chris Olave. He's got more Twitter followers. Sure. Olave does have a Twitter and he's got 113,000 followers and for some reason, no actual avatar picture. Keenan Allen does have a Twitter and he's got 153,000 followers, meaning he does in fact have more than Chris Olave and my guess was incorrect. Here's another $10 gift card. Dude, I'm going to be broke by the end of this. And his juke move is going to go up three ratings here. And our next challenger with five names left is going to be Garrett Wilson. They're going to be competing in a competition of the end zone fade, the best of five. I guess here is going to be Keenan Allen. I feel like he's just better than Garrett Wilson in this department. We got five attempts for Garrett Wilson on the fade here. We're just going to keep lobbing it up, doing the same thing here. He drops the first one. Attempt number two. Lob it up into the corner and doesn't get the second one either. He's 0 for 2. Third attempt here. We're going against, up against the same defense. So attempt number four, he has not caught a single one. Come on, Garrett. Finally, he's 1 for 4. One more attempt left. Not a high percentage play. That is for sure. Come on, Garrett. He ends up 1 for 5. Attempt number 1 for Keenan. Back to the corner. He catches the first one. He only needs one more in the next four attempts to win this. But he didn't need four attempts to win this. Perfect throw. And he comes down with it, bro. It's too easy. He literally went two for two. Easily swept that competition. Keenan stays on the hill, man. He's absolutely crushing it. His next stat that is going to go up is going to be, looks like change of direction. Stays on change of direction. And the next name that we'll be drawing out of the hat is Tyler Lockett of the Seahawks in a competition of the fullback dive challenge. I love this one. It's so entertaining. Tyler Lockett is a 72 overall fullback. But Keenan Allen somehow a 90 overall fullback. And of course, he's going to be my pick to win this competition. I'm not touching anything. This is all on Tyler Lockett for the fullback dive. Let's see how many he gets in. The first one, piece of cake, one for one. Attempt number two for Lockett. Little more resistance that time, but still gets in so easily. Lockett on his third attempt. Dives in, cross the goal line, three for three. Trying to go four for four here. Can the commanders get a stop from the two yard line or is he going to go easy five for five? This is bad. This is very, very bad. They did not stop Tyler Lockett. Keenan Allen's got to go five for five just to push this thing into a sudden death. The commanders have six on the line. They're doing double mug on defense. Is that going to stop Keenan Allen on just the first one? Oh my God, he goes down on just the first attempt, dude. Tyler Lockett takes it home, eliminating Keenan Allen. And our next contender across all these advertisements that are thrown on this page, but I guess it's a free app, so that's fine, is DJ Moore. Finally, our Bears man is up. Come on, let's see a fun competition. Something real fun. Something real, 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 real fun. Instead, we're going to see most popular on Instagram between Tyler Lockett and DJ Moore. Tyler Lockett's been in the league a lot longer. That's got to be my guess, which makes me so sad. Tyler Lockett has 611,000 followers on Instagram. And just like I suspected, DJ Moore has way less at only 278,000. So yes, I saved myself $10, but also my team's receiver is eliminated. His wheel of stats spin increase. He's going to be the first one to maybe get it. It's so close. It's on truck. He could have got his speed. Oh, it stays on trucking. That's unfortunate. Next up from the hat is going to be Hollywood Brown from the Cardinals. And their competition will be just the second to last here. We're so close to determining a winner. This one is going to be an end zone fade sudden death. This is probably my favorite competition that we have. I don't think either of them are going to be great at it. I just think Tyler Lockett's the better receiver in the end. Hollywood Brown on the outside. Attempt number one. He's just going to throw it up. He caught it and no, out of bounds, incomplete. I thought he got that in, but apparently not. That's tough, dude. His foot was so close. Look at that. Now remember, this is sudden death. If Tyler Lockett closes this out on just his first try, he'll win. Tyler Lockett on the outside. Can he catch it? Gino puts it up. He goes up. He catches it completed on Tyler Lockett's first try. Dude, I just had a feeling and I guessed correctly. It must be his knee that's in because it said completed on the screen. Down goes Hollywood. Tyler Lockett moves on. But first, Tyler Lockett does get a stat upgrade. So let's see what that's going to be here. Give him speed. Give him something good. Give him release. Release would be really good for this. Don't stick him with spin move. Okay, good. He got release. And our final is between Rasheed Rice who stayed this whole time in the background lurking, and Tyler Lockett, our current king. And their competition is going to be the final, the championship. Who will take it all? 
This is good. We got a head-to-head -head sim, most receiving touchdowns, running the same playbook. And my prediction on this one, I think we're going to have a last-second upset by Rasheed Rice for the simple fact that the Chiefs are just so good in Madden. It's insane. I don't think they can get beat. It all comes down to this. The Seahawks have got to find a way to get themselves on the board. So far, we have one touchdown, and it's only the Seahawks. The Chiefs only have six points. Nine points! The Seahawks have scored two touchdowns. There's a good chance that Tyler Lockett is one of those because as of right now, the Chiefs have literally put up zero touchdowns. Tyler Lockett only needs one they scored for this game. Let's see if he got one. Noah Fant had three receiving touchdowns. No one else had any. Rasheed Rice had zero. Tyler Lockett had zero. Let's sim again. Tyler Lockett with one and Rasheed Rice with zero. Ladies and gentlemen, ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. I was wrong. Here's another gift card code in the meantime. But congratulations to Tyler Lockett on being the last man standing King of the Hill wide receiver champion. If you enjoyed this, I did the same King of the Hill with quarterbacks. Do you think Patrick Mahomes won that? You'd be surprised to see the winner on that one too. Go watch it.